Hey everyone, I'm Dana Rubino with Windows Central. And one question I'm asked all the time is what exactly makes a Copilot Plus PC? Well, a Copilot Plus PC. Well, today we're just gonna go through a quick list and show you how I use this laptop every day. It's a lot to get to, so let's get to it. All right, so one of the coolest features of this laptop is Windows Recall. And as the name suggests, it helps you recall and remember things on your computer, capturing everything you've done on your PC whenever you're using it. But don't worry, you can always pause it, turn it off, you can remove things, you delete things. Let's say you're doing research, which I was doing recently, and there was a charger that I was looking at called Charge Points. So I can go in here and type in Charge Point. It's gonna bring up the information I've done over the last few weeks. And now you're gonna see the screen do this cool little wavy effect. What that means is I can now select any of this text and just copy it, or I can send it to Notepad and continue on taking notes with it. I can also, of course, just open up the web page. This thing is so sensitive, you can even just describe the image of something you saw, which is really great if you don't actually remember about the thing that you're researching on. All right, now one of the newest features that have come to Copilot Plus PCs is one called Click To Do. When you go into, the, say, the snipping tool, which is something I use almost all the time, and you can click this screen here, and it's gonna do that little magic. And anything I highlight now, including all this text, no matter how complicated it is, is able to pick it up. But if, say, you have a receipt and you wanna get data off of that for filing your expenses. Or maybe you took a photo of something that you want to get the data off later. So instead of copying the data by hand, you can now do it with AI. It just takes seconds. Another useful feature you'll find in Copilot Microsoft Office, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So here in front of me, I have what is a very long email. So I don't necessarily want to read the whole thing, or maybe I just want a summary of it. Well, I can go into Copilot here, and I can ask it to do just that. I'll just hit summarize this doc, and I can ask it specific questions if I want to, including finding some information. But what it's going to do here is give me all the results in bullet points. You can also go into Excel and tell it to do all sorts of creative things. And that's really great because I'm terrible at Excel and really don't know how to use it. But here I have a sample that's opened up with all this information. I can hit suggest a formula for the column, which is super useful for looking extra creative and smart to your boss. All right, now I've been a long time Windows user. And one of the biggest issues I've always heard is search is terrible on Windows. Well, Microsoft has fixed that with a new AI search. You just basically tell it whatever you're looking for in natural language without even using specific keywords. It's gonna be able to bring up documents. You can also do this for photos and images. So if I go back into search here, and I'm just gonna type myself, and there I am, a nice selfie when I was in Asia a few years ago. One of the most popular uses for laptops these days is, of course, web conferencing and video calls. So I can go here and go to automatic framing. It'll make sure I'm always centered. I can do portrait light, and it's going to improve the lighting of the image. Eye contact is really funny. When I turn this on, it's going to basically fix my eyes so that it looks like I'm always looking at the camera. Everybody loves this one. This is standard blur. This is really good if you have a messy background and you wanna hide it. Now these I don't use a lot, but they are fun. These are creative filters and you can do things like illustrated. So I kind of look like a cartoon now. I can do watercolor and I can even do animated. Now, if you're like me, you may be terrible at drawing in image creation. If you go to one of the best apps ever made, Microsoft Paint. As you can see here, I have a not such a great photo, but what I did was I asked the prompt to redo it and make it more realistic looking. And it fills in some color as well. And then I can even choose different styles like watercolor. And now it's gonna redo the image and you can even move the slider up and down to make it more creative or less creative based on how you want the AI to handle that image. All right, so those are just some of the features available on a Copilot Plus PC, which you'll see when you go buy the device, it'll actually be clearly labeled. Microsoft just announced even more features coming to these AI PCs. Now, what do you think of this technology? Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think.